Hello friends, welcome back to the another video in the web development series for beginners. In this video, I am going to talk about some basic concepts that you should know before we should start building websites. This includes how web application works, what is HTTP, what are servers, and some cool stories to understand these concepts. So let's get started. If you have missed the previous video about what is web development and tools setup, I do recommend you to check that out before you continue this. Just click on the link. So we all use websites and internet on daily basis. But have we thought about how actually they works? How I get a Google homepage when I just type www.google.com? How I get the list of movies on Netflix? And how I do shopping on Amazon? So many questions, right? But don't worry. In the next few minutes, we will have all our answers. So let's understand how these web application works with a small story. So this is me and my computer. I want to see Google homepage. So I will start my web browser, Google Chrome and type www.google.com. My machine is connected to internet. In technical terms, I am a client. As soon as I hit enter, I make a request to get a Google homepage. My request is handled by a server, which is located somewhere around the world and is connected with the internet. You can consider a server as a special computer which has special capabilities to serve requests received from clients. The server then resolves the domain name as an IP address and finds the necessary web resources and sends the response back to the client. Now the web browser renders the web resource in the form of user interactive page, which is my Google home page. Isn't that cool and simple? All this communication happens in the internet uses HTTP protocol. I'm pretty sure you must be thinking what are web resources, HTTP and domain name resolution. Let's understand them one by one. Web resources are the files that are stored on the server machine, which the server sends us back when we make request. These files can be HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images and videos. But we will focus more on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. As they are the main building blocks of any web page that a server sends us back. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It helps us to create page markup with its HTML elements. You can see how the markup of header and the main content looks like on a browser. Next is CSS. It stands for cascading style sheets. You can think of CSS as a makeup artist who helps you to look beautiful or handsome. Similarly, by using CSS, you can make your web pages look attractive. You can see after applying CSS, our header and main content looks nice. We have a background color and the content in center. You can create websites using HTML and CSS only, but those will be called as static websites. If you want to make your website interactive and dynamic, then we use JavaScript. You can think as when a user click on any button, JavaScript helps us to show or hide the pop-up or the modal on web pages. And you can see hello. Next, let's understand HTTP. It stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. From the name itself, we can think as it is used to transfer something from one place to another. Or we can say from client to server and vice versa. It is also known as application layer protocol, specially designed to communicate between machines over the internet for transfer of web resources like HTML documents, images, videos. You can use HTTP or HTTPS for communication. As if we use HTTP, then our request response are not secured and anyone can interrupt and see the data transmission. But we use this generally during development. Although some uses them in production applications as well, but HTTP is always recommended as it is more secured and all the request response are encrypted so that no one can intercept them in between 
and read the data that is transferred between client and server. Last, let's understand a little bit about domain name resolution. Although it is a big and not so straightforward topic, but we will just see what is relevant for us in a simplified way. So you can think of we have a list of names and each one, John, Ricky, Mike, is having their home address which is unique and belongs to them. So this is you, a smiley face, and you want to send a letter to John. So you will add his address and map it to his home address which is in Chicago. So for you it is easy to remember his name rather than his complete address. So now let's understand the same idea in technical terms. So now client, you or browser, whatever you want to call, request to any domain whether it's google.com or facebook.com. Each domain is mapped with a unique IP address at the server. As it is hard for us to recall the IP address, so we use domain name. This mapping of domain names with IP address is called domain name resolution. So now we have covered all the basic concepts of our web development. So in the next video, we will see about web development career paths and start building our web applications. If you like the video, a thumbs up is appreciated. And if you want to be notified for new videos, hit subscribe and bell icon. If you want to connect with me, please check my Instagram and Facebook links in description below. Thanks for watching.